Should you sell your Intel MacBook to get an M1 now or wait for an M1X? This is iCave Answers. Your Apple questions answered. It's iCave Answers with iCave Dave. I'm iCave okay, Dave and I simplify Apple so that everything just works for you and in this video we are answering viewers questions. So this question comes in from Daniel Duran. iCave okay, answers. So I have a friend that's asked me this and I didn't have a good answer. I own an Intel MacBook Pro. Should I buy an M1 MacBook now or wait for M1X? He likes the idea of an even better M1, but also likes the price of the current M1 MacBook Pro models. So it's always an interesting question should you buy now should you wait should you upgrade in this case i think we're only going to be waiting maybe a month or so uh i believe that we'll be seeing m1x by april uh, whether that actually comes in a macbook pro or in an imac but i do think we will be seeing the more powerful versions of this chip coming in the next month or so because i do think that in the last quarter of the year in september october november we will probably be seeing our m2 chips being rolled out to replace the m1s in that range so if you're looking for something that you can use right away the m1 is fantastic you're not going to be limited by the speed on it in, by any stretch of the imagination i don't think and also when the m1x is introduced with the upgraded macbook pros which we're expecting to get the 14 inch version that's going to come in at a higher price point by all accounts because it's going to be a much more powerful chip it is going to be we're expecting 12 cores which will be 8 performance and 4 efficiency cores compared to the 4 and 4 that we have currently with the M1 systems. As I say the M1 is not going to limit you in terms of speed it is a very very capable chip and in the M1 MacBook Pro you also have the active cooling so it's basically the best of both worlds between the MacBook Air and the Mac Mini. The MacBook Air being very very light and portable obviously with the high quality display and the Mac Mini having active cooling as well. The MacBook Pro and the Mac Mini will both keep going at full performance as long as you want them to. They will not throttle. So you've not mentioned how recent that MacBook Pro is, but kind of regardless, uh, you should be able to get a decent chunk of cash towards your M1 by reselling it. How much you can get for that old MacBook Pro will depend on its age and its specs. If you are needing something in the near future, if you want something that you can use right away, the M1 is a very good choice and it's going to hold its value really well as well. So that if you do find that you need to upgrade to the M1X, it's really not going to have dropped any value. So you could essentially be renting this for about $100 to $200 in the meantime in terms of the depreciation of your laptop. Of course it also depends on what you use it for. If you're only using it for office type applications, for the iWork suite, anything that's not too demanding, you probably don't need to upgrade to an M1 at this point. However, if you are doing anything else and if you typically use Apple's own apps as well, for example the iWork suite, if you're using it for video editing with iMovie or Final Cut Pro, making music with GarageBand or Logic, if you're doing anything that uses Apple's own apps, then I would absolutely recommend moving up to the M1. If you're using stuff that is currently not as optimized, maybe hold on just and give it a little bit more time. If you've got a working MacBook at the moment that you can get what you need to done on, maybe give it a little bit longer to make sure that the support's there for the programs that you need. But thank you so much for the question. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight into some of the things that you need to take into account. But without knowing the exact use case, it's very difficult to say a, a definitive yes or no. But we are expecting the M1X MacBooks within the first half of this year. If you've got a question you want me to answer on this show, all you need to do, comment down below with hashtag iCaveAnswers and I will happily answer it for you. We do Apple news, leaks and rumours every weekday at 12 UTC. So like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that you don't miss it.